Hello everybody, my name is Kasabi, and uh, today I thought I'd make a video regarding some outlining for Diamond Dynasty logos and how I do it in a quick and easy way. There's definitely some more effective ways out there if you really want to get fine-tuned, but this is just a little quick tutorial about how I add some stuff to mine. So first things first, I have my name here in blue and uh, I'm a big Rocket League player. A lot of the colors that you play with in the cars in there is blue and orange. So uh, as you can kind of tell by my stream here too, my two favorite colors to put together are blue and orange. So what I'm going to do is take this uh, nameplate that I made for myself and make it orange. So what you want to do is uh, get some letters for whatever kind of script you want to make. Sort them out by letter as such. Then if you go to change color, or actually you want to copy paste letter by letter. So right now I have two K's right here. And whatever your secondary color is going to be, you want to make it that and just slowly resize it until you have the thickness of the outline that you want. And then from there, it's only going to... So right now when I moved it around like this, it's only going to cover up one side. So what you're going to have to do is copy-paste this layer a couple of times or an easy way to do it is the stamp tool which is the square button so if i just hit square there's another orange k that pops up here and what you want to gonna what you're gonna want to do is just kind of stamp it a few times and move it around a bit until the desired thickness of the line or outline that you want is level on each side so let me just do it a few times here the inside of the K is really the point that I want to do the most right here. That's about good. Just do one more for the other part of the inside there. So there's my first outline. I'll zoom in on it here so you can see it a bit easier. Pretty, pretty evenly split around. There is one little part at the top right here at the top left corner of the K that I could fix a little bit, but I'll get to that in just a second. For some letters, it's going to be easier to do than others. So, for example, when I get to the S here, oops. Sometimes when you stamp stuff, it does the first thing that you stamp, so that's why I went to the S and it still copied the K, because it's in my clipboard. So let's go straight to the S right here, just to show what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to stamp this a few times. With the curved edges, it's going to be a bit tougher. And you're probably going to have to do some other fine tuning. Otherwise, it's going to look a bit strange. So this font's actually not bad for that reason, but you can kind of tell right here at the top of the S. I've added a few different S outline shapes already, but there is a corner there that doesn't look exactly snug. And a quick and easy way that I fix these up is by going to the basic and curve shapes here, just getting a few squares and circles just kind of adding them beneath the uh, main color layer. So you can see right here the blue is my top layer. If you can just kind of sneak this square piece in there. Let's see, we'll add a triangle here maybe. Another pro tip, uh, if you guys are doing some really good fine tuning, it's not going to resize. Like, well, when you put it in a shape, it's going to be like really big to start. So to resize it quicker and make it teeny tiny, um, it's a bit slower when you're zoomed in like this, so zoom out and then resize the shape and it will get teenier much quicker. So just add that right there. There we go. You can also see in the curve of the S right there, it kind of looks a bit, uh, there's a lot of corners that are showing. So the other thing I do with that is I take some of these line shape tools as highlighted right here or these flat ones right here and what I do is zoom out again to resize a bit quicker I just take these shapes zoom back in and just very slowly inch out those corners a little bit I can't zoom in any farther so I'll just have to eye it out here I'm just going to 
ever so slowly take out these jagged corners right here, kind of curve them away using this tool right here. If you really wanted to, you could do the same thing with the blue part right up here. So let me stamp this, make it blue, and do the same thing. So now I'm getting out some of these corners up here. So there's a couple. Uh, down here on the S, we could probably do a few more. So right here at the tip of this S. Let's just get that right there. So that one might be better suited with the triangle tool here. But the basic gist of it is you can take some basic shapes like these, the lines, the squares, the triangles, etc., and really fine tune your logo outline. The other thing you can do, it's a bit trickier in my opinion, but it's definitely an option, is you can take the mask tool and hide certain parts that you want to trim out a little bit. The only problem with that one is when you group the layer together, uh, sometimes the mask gets messed up because what the mask does is if you have one shape or a group of shapes, it's only the, it's only going to mask or hide the one directly in front of it. So if you group them all up again, it's going to think that you just took all the shapes and put it in front of it, if that makes sense. So if I group five shapes together and then put a mask in front of it, but my entire logo is 100, if I group the whole logo together, it's going to think that I did all of those 100 instead of just five. The other thing too is, I'll do this with the A right here, but if you're doing lettering that has uh, a couple of the same letters, you can just really easily, oh, we're on the other A right here. So let me just take this real quick. So I'm not gonna take the time to flesh it out really here for the example of the video, but uh, let's just say you got the A the way that you wanted it to be, like so you can group this together. Again, it's a little bit tougher if you're doing masks, but you can group this together, copy it, and then paste it in front of the other letter of the same kind that you've already done. And there we go. So I already have the two A's like that. Let me just uh, finish up the B and the E here. I will say too, this is a lot tougher, the uh, lining stuff up part of it, when you have cursive fonts. So if you like doing cursive lettering for the fronts of your jerseys, you're going to really have to like go in there and fine tune it a bit. Man, that's a really tall E right there at the bottom. There we go. So just quick and easy, this video took me about 5 or 10 minutes, if that. Just a very basic outline or way of outlining something that you want to outline. And you can do it in multi-layers too. So I did blue with orange. If I really wanted to go an extra layer, no pun intended, I could copy all of these together. Let's see, copy. Oh, wait, I want to group them, that's what I meant. And then copy-paste it. And if I want to add another white outline, let's say, just do the exact same thing. So if you really want to get into a little bit more and have three different outlines or three different colors in your outline, you can kind of do that too. So that's the way I do it. There are people who fine tune things a whole lot more. Um, my... Um, abilities and skill making is to try and do replications as fast as I can while still having a good quality product. So there are a lot of times where I, I will have some jagged edges and stuff. 
that's just how I am. There are some people who spend two, three, four, five hours, if not more, um, really getting all the intricacies of the logos. Um, I like to try and get as many logos out there as I can at a, at a still acceptable le uh, level of quality. So again, it really just depends on the creator, but I hope this video helps you guys uh, who are out there trying to create your own logos with how to do some outlining on your logos and also just really quickly patch up some stuff that might look jagged or doesn't have the right curve to it. So I will upload this as a resource to Reddit. If there's anything else related to logos that you guys would like some help on for some logo tutorial videos, feel free to send me a message on Reddit, Twitter, YouTube, whatever you would like. I'd be more than happy to show you guys how I do things in terms of logo tips. So that'll do it for this stream. I will be doing some other logos today. Um, some requests that people have put in on Reddit. So I'll be streaming today later on Twitch. My Twitch channel is Kasabi Compiles. I'll just uh, put the link in the YouTube description once I upload this. But in the meantime, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope this helps with your logos.